hello lovelies welcome back to lifestyle chapter thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel if you're new to this channel i welcome you to the family if you're already here i'm always happy to have you back if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe subscribe and thank you for doing that today i have another recipe that is a nigerian recipe and it's called the pepper fish oh my goodness i love this recipe i tried it and it just blew my mind my nigerian friends i hope you watch this um video and let me know how i did because it was a bomb i loved it and i just decided to share it with my family and friends on youtube so let's get started so with this recipe i'm going to use um, my red snapper which i got from costco it is normally packaged and it has been skinned the only thing that i did was to cut the fins and then um, the scales but um i didn't do much work on that because everything was perfectly done i just cut it and as you can see i don't have the head of the fish i just have the middle part and the tail that i'm using for this recipe it is okay for you to use the head as well it doesn't spoil anything so i'm washing it with some lemon juice because you know fish when it's fresh the taste is something else so i decided to use my lemon juice to wash it thoroughly under running water and this also gives the fish some flavor so i'm going to transfer it into another bowl that i'll be using to season the fish for the stew or sauce So I have my fish all cleaned and it is ready to be seasoned. So I'm going to add in some salt to taste and then to that I'll be adding in the all pepper seasoning, some powdered onions. I'm adding the rest of the all purpose seasoning. I still have some in the bowl. And then I have my dry herbs. That is a coriander and basil herbs that I'm using. And I'm also adding in some paprika, smoked paprika. And I have in my ground cumin. And this is a Kenyan pepper that I'm adding in because as you know, it is a spicy. Um, recipe I'm making in some black pepper as well as also have white pepper which I'm adding as the last ingredient I'm going to marinate it well onto the fish make sure I rub it well to make the fish more delicious and that is what I'm working on right now I'm making sure everything is marinated and as you can see everything is done I have my pan on fire right now I'm going to add in some oil that I'll be using to fry the fish so I'm adding in some olive oil I will allow the oil to heat up then I'll start frying the fish. So now the fish has started going into the oil. I'm trying to create room for me to get more space to add more fish to it. So it looks like for this can this is the number of fish I can get in. So that's what I will use. 
so when I put in the fish in there on the side I'll use three minutes to make sure the fish is done and then I'll turn the other side for it to be fried as well but it all depends on how you want the fish to be fried I have my ingredients here for the pepper I have my shallots my bell peppers my anaheim pepper habaneros and one tomato so i'm going to actually use my blender which is also a processor well now it seems like the fish is all done so i'll go back to the fish to take them out of the pan and place them in a bowl and set it aside whilst I do the second batch of fish so the second batch of fish is now going in So I'll let it fry on the side for three minutes and when I look at it and everything is okay I'll turn it for the other side to fry. So now I have my peppers in here I'm going to use my processor to process it because I don't want it to be fully blended. I don't want it to be smooth. I want I want it to be cold. So I'm just mixing it up in my processor so I get more texture in this sauce I'm making it has to be texturized I don't want it to be pureed or smooth so this is how it's looking now I have my pot ready for the sauce and I have a quarter cup of batter which I'm melting in the pot right now So now the butter is all done. I'm going to put in my my chopped garlic and ginger and I'm going to fry this for about three minutes but meanwhile you make sure the fire is not high it's on medium to low because it does can easily get burnt that is why I'm consistently stirring it I do want it to get burnt and you lower your, your heat or your fire under the pot The essence of this is for it to turn golden brown. I don't want it to be burnt. So to make sure I achieve that, I have to be stirring all the way through. I'll then add in my shallots and my red onions, which is going to give the sauce that flavor, especially the shallots. It's going to give it more flavor and I'll continue to stir 
because I want my onions to be caramelized. I don't want it to be fully cooked because I'll be taking it out of the pot and then I'll set it aside and then transfer it back onto the, the sauce when it's almost done. So as you can see, the onions are caramelized. And that is exactly what I wanted it to be. So I'll be taking some out of the pot I'll put it in the plate and set it aside. And I'll leave a little behind in the pot where I can continue with the sauce. So to that, I'll be adding a little bit of olive oil to it. Stir everything up and then now I'll add my processed peppers that I just showed you using the blender. I'll stir everything up gently. Testing to see how the salt is, if it's okay. Here, yeah, but it looks like it needs some salt. So I'll be adding some salt to get the taste that I want, and then I'll stir everything up gently. I will then cover it for it to cook for about five minutes and then I'll come back to it and then stay to see how the sauce is looking as you can see most of the water is dry on it so what I did is I'm adding my black pepper and my dry thyme and I'll stir everything up I'm testing one more time to see if the taste is what I actually need and these are my bell peppers I have the green red and yellow bell peppers that I chopped and it is used for garnishing and also it is used to help reduce a little bit of the spiciness of the sauce because it is very spicy and you know the bell peppers have the sweet um, it has a sweet um, taste that it is going to help reduce a little of the the spiciness for the sauce and it also gives it it's also going to give it that color So I'll leave that in to cook for about three minutes because I don't want everything to be cooked throughout. I want the crunchiness and then I'll add in my fried fish.
I'll put all the five fish in there. And then I will add in the caramelized onions to give it more flavor and also you know the fish has its own juices all these are going to incorporate into the sauce with the peppers and the onions and the juices oh my world this is just so amazing you should be here to to smell the aroma over here it is it is too much to absorb this is out of this world I'm just loving every little bit of it so here I'm trying to stay gently because you know the fish is not that strong I don't want them to break apart so I'm trying to stir gently to put the sauces on the fish and to make sure the juices of the fish also incorporate in the sauce and the onions and everything just come into place. That's what I'm doing right now. So here we are virtually done. Because everything has already gone inside the peppers, the salt. If you have any bouillon powder or bouillons, you can add it to it and you're good to go. So I'll just cover it for the next three minutes. And lovelies, you're all done. I hope you liked this video, you enjoyed watching it. If you did, Please don't forget to share and give a thumbs up. I thank you for watching and I hope to bring you another sumptuous recipe. And my Nigerian friends, I haven't forgotten about you. Give it a thumbs up and send me a comment on how I did. And I hope to bring you another recipe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you and love you. Bye.